Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to a new series called Is It Bloatware? I'm, I'm looking for a new antivirus uh, for my residential clients and, and for work too. Um, and one of the factors I really want to consider is does it really slow down the system? Does it take too many system resources? So I figured what the hell, there's probably 50 or so plus different antivirus packages out there now these days let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see which one which ones offer the the lightest footprint on your system so I recently heard that uh, a few people were saying Avast is very bloaty now this is one of the first antiviruses I've ever worked with I think it was on version 4 4.6 I think before they went to years like it's 2019 now so let's see, uh, free antivirus download. Very nice, free download. We'll go to full screen here, sorry. It's a little noisy in the house today. I, uh, the girls are home and the dog is up there. So you may hear a bunch of crap upstairs. I told them to be quiet, but that never works. Oh, uh, yeah. Before I install, I want to take a look at the system details here. Let's take a look at uh, performance. Right now we have 45, let's see, 45% of our RAM is in use. And uh, we're using 1.8 gig out, out of our 4 gig of RAM. This is a virtual machine, of course. And uh, CPU is pretty much idle. So let's go ahead and start the install. We're just going to do a default install. I'm not going to change anything. And that's how it's going to be for all the other uh, antiviruses that we install. And I'll let the uh, whole install process run. I'm not going to pause the video right now. You can scoot ahead or listen to the video in like two times speed or 1.25 speed. I've been doing that a lot lately with some tutorials. So uh, we'll take a look at the, the resting the resting values, what, what the uh, RAM looks like when it's resting, and then when we actually do a scan how much CPU does it take? How much RAM does it take? And uh, I think that's about it until anyone suggests otherwise. Um, the results of all these tests will be on remove-malware.com, one of my old blogs. Uh, so I'll just have a page that's a static page that I'll update with all the different um, antivirus tests that I do. All right, it says your vast free antivirus installation is in progress. I guess it downloaded a full version of it. Okay, looks like uh I haven't installed this before. It may, it may be done. Okay, it says you're protected. Continue. Whatever. No, I don't want to protect my phone, and I'm not going to upgrade right now. But I will test out that internet security. Still installing. So right after these things install, um, the system's a little busy. So, uh, it's finishing, so it's still going, okay. <clears throat> Looks like it's using all of the CPU to do everything right now. And you can take a look at the cert de details and, and you can see it's still setting up, so we've gotta wait. And even after it's, after it's done setting up, 
we have to come back about 10 minutes later and look at the real resting values. Okay, so it says we're protected. We'll just minimize it. Actually, we will just go ahead and close it. Yeah, let's close that interface. All right, let's see what's doing in the background. As soon as we install it, it says we're protected, but it's still obviously doing some stuff right now. So the memory, the memory of the RAM is kind of what I was interested in. And right away, nothing changed. Uh, 1.8 gigs in use. If we take a look at the details and we arrange by a vast, you can see these are pretty minuscule. I'll total these up and put the and post this on the website. Um, so not even 150 megabytes of RAM. And I'm guessing this will this may drop down some of these. That's, that's pretty small. I can't see how anyone would say a, a vast is bloatware. I, I don't see that whatsoever right now. And I installed with full, you know, just full on whatever they had for the install. So really, it, it has not made a difference to my RAM in the least. All right, so um, I've got to answer a text here. And while I'm doing that, we'll give it like um, 10 minutes to kind of sit here and stew a little bit. And um, we'll come back and check those values, and we'll run a scan after that and see how it does with that. And I cannot pause this damn thing because it's messed up. I'll be right back. Okay, so no real reason to sit here and wait anymore. Nothing really happened. Um, these values didn't really change. So you can. I'm using less less RAM now. So on the RAM side, of a vast sitting idle, very good. Let's go ahead and start up a scan. And um, I will just run a smart scan or a quick scan. That's all I really need to test with right now anyway. And let's see, let's look in detail. You know, marginal increase in some of these values, but nothing that's gonna really break the system. Uh, CPU is pegged at 100. So I mean, I'm sure you could go ahead and adjust that to say, you know, use um, you know, less CPU or something like that. Definitely in the corporate environment, I use uh, a very little CPU. Uh, and, and if the client or my user has to do something, um, then it, you can actually interrupt the scan just, just uh, by working. But I try to schedule scans on the evening and, and uh, weekends, mainly. So yeah, system's, uh, you know, kind of slow when it's scanning. It is a virtual machine, so I don't know how it'd be on a regular machine, but that's the way all these will be tested anyway. It's kind of hard to move that window, as you can see. It won't move. So by default, when Avast is scanning, you ain't doing nothing. So you definitely want to customize that. And uh, probably have it use a little less CPU if you really use a computer constantly. If you don't really use a computer that much, then just let it scan at full CPU, get done quicker. And uh, RAM just went up a little bit, not much at all. Yeah, performance issue found, of course. Uh, probably because it's a virtual machine. Anyway, um, I think that um, I, I don't really consider this bloatware at all. Uh, it barely takes up any system resources when it's sitting idle, and that way, that was or is my main concern really for me. Because scanning can be done when the client uh, slash user is not um, you know busy doing something right now. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know or any suggestions. You can go ahead and also support me on Patreon for like a buck a month. Puts a smile on my face. Um, I don't have uh, plans for the next antivirus. I guess it will be another letter A. I'll probably just go down the list or go to virus total and look at the whole list there. 
And uh, I'll post these results um, to uh, the remove-malware.com blog. I took a screenshot as well of the values. Um, the values, like I said, when we were scanning, really didn't change that much. Mainly just CPU. So anyway, I hope this kind of clears up some of the uh, a vast bloatware talk out there that I saw. Um, not bloaty in my opinion. You know, what's your opinion? Let me know. Talk to you later.